All of Us Are Dead is a perfect example of a TV show that should be four or five episodes and uh, they extended out to 14, 15 episodes for whatever reason. So I just finished watching it. I did start watching it like as soon as it came out on Netflix. I was like, all right, I'm going to binge this all. I got to the fifth episode and episode one to four I really enjoyed. I thought the storyline was really good. I thought they did the characters well. The episodes were a bit too long. Like every episode was like an hour and 20 minutes, which was a bit too much. But episode one and four were hands down the best. They got you in the shoes of the characters, made you care about them. They introduced the plot, showed you what's going on and why all these zombies are here at the school. And it all starts with a professor, basically. That's all I'm going to say. That plot line I thought was really cool. And then once you get to episode four and five, it kind of feels like that's kind of gone away. And they're just going for the sake of going, if you know what I mean. And episode four and five, to me, felt like that's where that storyline should have ended. And then they keep going with it. And it just fucking drags on so badly. I don't know why they didn't decide to just end this at four episodes. I, Other than that, if they did, I think this would have been a really, really good zombie show. But you can lie to yourself and just cut it off after four episodes. And be like, oh, that's the end of the show like I did. But you know that there's... 10 more episodes you gotta watch. And I heard they're coming out the second season. So this show definitely feels like, you know, quantity over quality by the end of it all. Because it's just it just feels like they're just pumping out these fucking... I really do like Korean made films. But there are so many of them on Netflix now. And they're just coming out so fast. It's so hard to keep up with. But in my mind... It should have just been six episodes, five episodes at least. If you want to make a season two after that, sure. Because you don't have a whole fucking 13 episodes to watch. You only have six, but you know, that's not what happened. I, it's a really, really beautiful show to look at. The fight scenes are really well done. The, the blood and gore looks very visceral and just real. The acting is good. Like, I don't want to sit here and shit on the show because it's too long. There's really, really good aspects of it. The fucking action is really good. I just wish they... I just wish... It just sucks when they do this. And you know that it's going on too long. And you kind of just want a show to end for its own good. And you can go and tell other people to watch it. Well, half the people I would tell to go watch it, they'll be like, how many episodes? I'm going to be like, 15. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Like... It's just a bit too much. Like I said, I don't want to repeat myself. Trim the fat off of this fucking bone. You would have had a six episode miniseries that just goes straight to the point with good build up. And that's what it could have been. And it was. And then they kind of fuck it up near the end. I just don't understand why they keep making these bloated series that don't need to be this long. I love Daredevil. I love the Netflix shows. I love Luke Cage, Jessica Jones. I didn't watch Iron Fist. All of those shows I love. But they suffer from the exact same problem. They're all 13 episodes. And there's at least two to three episodes in each one. You could pick out and take out. Yeah, there might be an important aspect of it. But it's a 60 minute episode. 50 minutes of that episode is just bullshit and filler and you can take it out every single netflix show has it and it's not a bad thing but when you make a 13 episode show and only six of your episodes are good there's, there's something going on here so i will check out the second season when it comes out i'm not gonna jump on it right away but i'll check it out and it just took me a while to finish all of us are dead because it's long and the episodes are long. It's not like Breaking Bad where you just get sucked into it. It feels like it drags on. So I took like a month or two break and then I finished it. I'd give it like a 6, 7 out of 10. I had a pretty good time with it. But I gotta be honest, the length of the show made me dread it. But that did not make the show bad in any means. 
So that is my review of All of Us Are Dead. Tomorrow I'm going to be watching Nightcrawler and I'll have a review of that out tomorrow. And then Moon Knight on Wednesday. And then on Thursday I was going to aim for Insidious. So we'll see how that works out. I have not seen the Conjuring movies. I haven't seen the Insidious movies. So this is a whole different ballpark. This is going to be fun. Thank you everyone for watching.